Hey guys, God, I'm tired. Let me try that again. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. <laughs> Today I want to talk a little bit about finding your own editing style. So in my opinion, there are three sort of phases of every photographer's editing style, and it goes like this. Phase one, you just open up the editing software, you don't really know what anything does, and you maybe watch like one or two tutorials, and you're just playing with sliders like crazy just to see what happens, and you are probably over editing all your photos. By over editing, I mean making adjustments way too extreme to the point where it doesn't look good anymore. You've just, you've pushed it past the point that it looks good and just kept going. That right there is probably the biggest mistake beginner photographers make when editing. It takes a long time to learn the subtlety of adjusting an image because you really don't need to drag the slider that far to get the result you're looking for. So you'll edit photos like this for a while until you start, you know, comparing your photos to maybe some Instagrammers photos and you realize your colors are way more saturated than theirs or your photos are way too over sharpened compared to theirs and you start to think I should probably uh, dial this in a little bit. So then phase two is you've sort of figured out everything there is to know about the editing software. You got it down, you sort of figured out, you know, how you like to edit your photos, but you don't necessarily have a style yet. You're still keeping it pretty basic. Maybe just adding some contrast, you know, a little touch of clarity, a little touch of saturation, you know, contrast, you know, maybe a tiny vignette. But hey, at least you're not completely destroying the photo with the editing. It looks good now. It looks just like a regular good photo. And then step three, which for me took forever to get to, was the step where you finally figured out your own unique editing style that you like to do for every photo. And someone just scrolls past that on their feed and they already know, they don't even have to look at the name on Instagram. They know you're the one who posted it. And this is like the final stage of like, you know exactly what you're going to do to that photo and exactly what adjustments to make in order to get it the way you want. And I'm talking about this today because I feel like I've just recently reached that final stage of finding my editing style because for the longest time I've been playing around with things not really knowing what my like style was and how I wanted to edit my photos and just doing like a basic like contrasty uh, add a little bit of sharpness type of edit and that was it. And then every once in a while I'd play around with like the greens in the photo or the oranges or something and just make it look really awful. But now I'm happy to say that I have an editing style that I personally really enjoy. You might not like it, it's it's completely subjective. I, I'm not offended if you don't like how I edit my photos. I've been shooting and editing so much recently and I think that's the biggest contributor for me finally figuring out what I like to edit. So if there's anything with photography that you're stuck on, maybe you're having trouble getting a sharp image or you're not great at shooting low light or you just can't figure out how to get your edits looking as good and crispy as, I don't know, Peter McKinnon's edit, whatever. My recommendation to you is one, have some patience, and two, shoot a lot, like a lot, okay? The risk of this is you get burnt out and you get sick of photography, which is not good, but it's gonna happen to you eventually. I personally go through waves of really enjoying what I'm doing and then really hating every single photo I take. But right now I've been shooting a ton and I'm still loving it and I'm really enjoying everything I'm capturing. And I'm trying not to look at like social media statistics and numbers because the important part is that you are happy with the images you're making. And I'm happy with the images I'm making. I'm, I'm really happy with them. I'm not gonna stop trying to improve them because I can always improve, everyone always has room to grow. But for the first time in a long time, I'm actually really enjoying the photos I'm taking. So I'd recommend you try to do the same, like maybe two, three, four times a week. Get your camera, go out and shoot, even if it's just a walk down the road or taking photos of your friends or some random cool car you saw passing on the street. Just bring your camera everywhere, shoot a few times a week, even if it's just nothing, it's just for fun, whatever. Because that constant repetition of just doing it over and over again, and it gives you more opportunity to make mistakes and to learn from those mistakes. So you will overall be a much better photographer for it. But when it comes to finding your editing style, have some patience. I've been using Lightroom to edit my photos since 2016. That is when I started like actually editing raw files. So we are now five years later, five years, of learning how Lightroom works and taking photos all the time and editing all the time. I've shot and edited tens of thousands of photos and I'm just now finding something that I that fits for me. So don't rush it, don't try and force yourself into a certain style. Just wait, just edit photos, just do what you think looks good and just keep doing that until eventually you'll start to develop your own style. That's my best advice is just you'll get there and you'll get your own style eventually. Just 
don't rush it because that that's when you're gonna start over editing and it's just gonna be forced but that's all i got for you guys today just a short little video uh nothing too crazy i just wanted to talk a little bit about editing without you know sharing my screen and doing a step-by-step -step thing so if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button it really helps me out hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this turn on that notification bell too don't forget that you can find instagram tiktok all my gear and more in the description if you want to check any of that stuff out i've been posting on tiktok a lot that's kind of fun um so go follow me on there if you want more like frequent uh less formal videos also next video i got something very exciting for exciting for me anyways i you guys might not find it that exciting but very exciting for me so stay tuned for that next video a few days just wait for it it's gonna be dope but with that i'm gonna head out thanks for watching guys